Hey guys, welcome to part two of this video where we're going to be finding the change in void ratio and finding the change in settlement using the information we found in the previous video. So we know that the initial effective stress is our 89.5 kPa. So the initial effective stress is 89.5 kPa and we found that the final effective stress is 189.5 kPa. So we can write that down. The final effective stress is 189.5 kPa. And the other important information we need to know is the pre-consolidated stress, which is given to us in the question. So the pre-consolidated stress in the layer of clay is 150 kPa. So 150. And once again, we need to use that information to know whether we're overly consolidated, normally consolidated, or both. In our case, we're actually both, because it goes from 89.5 to 150 and then from 150 to 189.5. So our graph would look something like this. So we're going So this would be the initial which is 89.5. This would be the pre-consolidated which is 150. And this would be the final, which is 189.5. We know that our initial void ratio is 0 0.8. That's given to us in the question. So this is 0 0.8. Our aim is to find E2, which is the final void ratio. And then we can use that to find the change in void ratio. So this would be CR. And this would be CC. We know CR equals 0 0.08. And CC equals 0 0.1. So 0 0.08, and this is 0 0.1. So we can find E1 would equal minus 0 0.08 log of the final, so that would be 150 on 89.5, the initial, plus the initial void ratio, plus 0 0.8. If we were to work this out, we would get um, 0 0.78. We would then find E2, which is the final void ratio, which would be minus CC, so 0 0.1 log of the final um, effective stress, which is 89.